Now that we have a basic understanding of the different elements that we can add into our presentation, let's start giving uh, our presentation a style. A style that we already created in the Prezi templates and themes section of the course. We'll choose our color palette and we will also choose our font. Remember that we created a font style and we saved it. You probably saved it with your company's name or your client's name or your project's name. When I click, the font style for the entire presentation changes. Now for the course, Gregorio created for me a very cool background to use in our main cover. Refer back to the lesson on Prezi background where you will find resources, ideas, and easy ways to create your background if you need one. So on style, click on background, and we will choose upload image. In this lesson of the course, you will find the background to download if you want to use the same that I'm using to deliver the course. But again, you can go back to the Prezi background lesson and you will find a lot of ideas to create different backgrounds. Now that we are in the background, we notice a couple of things. One is that we have a clear background and the text is not visible. And the other is that the topics are sort of hard in the eye. Uh, and not matching the background style. So we are going to go again to style, click on shape and layout configuration, and choose the hexagons. With the hexagons, we can match part of the background to make our topics fit in a more elegant way. Now, you can do this by hand, by resizing each of the topics, or you can use a hack. You can hack it and choose the size that you want for your topic. And now that you have it, you select it and use on PC on the keyboard. The keys, Control, which is on the very bottom left, of the keyboard, Control plus C to cut. And then click elsewhere and hit Control V like Venus to paste. And we have another topic with the same dimensions that is identical to the one we had originally. I'm adjusting and slightly adjusting the position with the keyboard arrows. Refer back to the lesson on using the keyboard and shortcuts to learn all the different options for using your keyboard when working. In this case, I'm using the arrows on the keyboard to perfectly position my topic. And I'm going to hit Ctrl V like Venice again to paste again. And again, I'm again using the keyboard arrows. And there you have a first styling and layout proposal for the presentation. As you see, the background moves slightly when we zoom in, which gives it a 3D effect. You can get rid of the 3D effect, but using a solid background or a background for each of the pages. It's different. The background for the entire presentation behaves like a 3D, and the background for each of the topics is uh, linear or static. 
still on the topic of style, we still have to deal with this text. But we will get to the text lesson just in a moment. For now, we are going to just choose a color based always on the skin that is visible. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Do you see this orange hexagons? This is because when we set our theme, our color theme, when we created our template, this is the secondary color that uh, we use for subtopics. So we have a main color, which is for the topics, and the secondary color that applies for the subtopics. And this is what we have. So far, so good. We already have something that is resembling to a presentation, and it's been pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let's keep going with the course, and our next lesson is on text.